was on my way home and I had to stop and pull over and look at this absolutely gorgeous sunset tonight over the river you hear the birds in the background chirping rainbow lorikeets I don't know if this can show <laughs> up as well as I can see it here but it's just just amazing okay I'll get back in the car now and go home it's just so pretty see ya G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna have a little play today with a few sort of hairbrush comb things uh, to get that little dot look. Now I saw this on um, Jelly Rice Cubes um, post on my um, Facebook group. So, hey Jilly! <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I'm just sort of making up my ratios and things. I'm not quite sure what she uses or used, but I am using, well, we both use milk paint. I know that much, this one, milk paint. Um, you can't get it anymore. Well, not in Australia. I've got quite a few. I think I bought the last ones in Australia a few months back. This is Folk Art Milk Paint. Um, and yeah, it makes like a little cloud effect. It's similar to satin enamel, so if you can't get this, you might be able to use satin enamels. I've mixed that one part milk paint to one part Floetrol. And that's just my wipe there. And I've put some in this little bowl here. It's been sitting a while. I hope it hasn't uh, thickened up. <clears throat> might just add just a tiny little splash of Floetrol just to loosen it up a little bit it's very hot today i mean they've only been sitting here for 10 minutes but it's enough to sort of start thickening now this one here the pale blue it's exactly the same mix as that but i added a little teaspoon of uh, montmartre paint and i'm going to show you how i do it here i'm going to add this one as well so i'm just using this um, white milk paint and because I'm going to add a little bit of this blue, I am going to add a good splash of the Floetrol as well. I just put my Floetrol in these little squeezy bottles because it's easy for me to, to use them. I'm just going to wipe that clean and then I'm just going to take, so that's all you need, just a tiny little bit like that on the end of the stick. And that should be enough just to colour that white paint with a little bit of blue. So let's do that. So my base coat is going to be the dark blue, which is over here. And then I'm going to do little dot patterns in, um, in the pale aqua, the pale blue and the white. No point having colors that are too similar. Now you don't want this to be a dark blue on a dark blue background. I guess it's similar to um, balloon dips. Another fly. Give that a good stir around. So there we go, just a lovely pale blue colour. Doesn't really leave a mound, but it doesn't sink away straight away either. Maybe a tiny little, like a pyramid. I like to call them a pyramid. This one I did add a Bob of flow troll to earlier as well when I mixed in my my blue paint so whatever you're adding like if you're going to add um, a teaspoon of paint you know add a teaspoon extra of flow troll so those are my colors um, now this this is what I'm going to use for my dots this is actually um, a men's hairbrush so that's it there this one was I don't know if I use this this was a comb and I just snapped it in half. So I've got two different size. That's the wider one, but this, this one's gonna to be too narrow. So I might, I don't know. I'm gonna use this one I know. I don't know if I wanna use that one as well. So any sort of a comb, plastic comb, um, just have to make sure that their teeth are all in a row, like flat, not, not curved. Otherwise you won't get that nice effect. Now my blue here is my usual um, glue and water mix. This one is 60% glue, 40% water, and I've mixed that one and a half times, 
or one and a half parts of this the pouring medium to one part of the phthalo blue montmartre paint so that's what i've done so my reasoning for this and as i said i don't know what everyone else uses for this I haven't really looked into it i've been so busy this last week that's why you haven't even seen me i've just been so busy i haven't poured um, i figured that this is a relatively thin mix if i use my mix that's got my glue and water in it which is a nice thick sort of a mix and the glue holds well now it holds um, cells well so i figured well maybe that would work for this particular technique so that's why i'm doing it we shall see i did a little practice one i put the photo up on my facebook group um, so i'll have a little play with this I don't even know what sort of design I'm going to do. I'm just going to do sort of random, random dots. I don't even know if it's got a name. Jilly, has it got a name? I don't know if Jilly named it. If someone knows what it's called, let me know. Just evening this out. Now I'm just using my card here because I'm going to be pushing down. I don't want um, oh, something in there. I don't want like a bendy surface. I will try it on a canvas later, but I want to just see how I go on my card first. This is just thick card that I buy from eBay. The links to where I get it from Amazon and eBay are on my Pouring Your Heart Out Facebook group. Okay, so that's. I don't want to make it too thin, you know, it's got a decent covering because you do want your little cells when they pop up. I don't even know if they're cells. <laughs> you want them to um, have enough room, like to, to pop up. You can't have your, your paint too thin. All right, I think I'm just making it worse here. Just leave it like that. Okay, so I didn't really use much paint at all, did I? I wonder if I've got enough. Actually, I'm just going to pop a little bit more on. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I've got enough. If you don't have two, if you don't have enough, I think what would happen is your little dots will appear, but they may not grow. Um, the mix is pretty thick, so they're not really going to grow a lot, but if your mix on here is too thin, when, when you do your little um, dab down, I don't think that they would grow very much. Right, I'm just going to give that a torch to pop some bubbles. You didn't pop, are you a bubble? Alright, let's get to this. Um, I'm just going to take my little sticks out. Make sure that you do have a damp cloth ready to go because what I, <laughs> I found this out the hard way. Um, once you've dipped your white into your blue, your little white is then contaminated with blue from the background and then you put it back into the white and then my white started going blue and that's why i thought oh i wonder if i can change it and make some blue so that's how that came about um but yeah just make sure that after you've dipped your your brush i just got this from the local um pharmacy chemist so all right here we go ah this is gonna be fun just a little bit of a fun thing today i don't know i might do sort of I don't really know what I want to do. I'm just going to start. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so dip that in, give it a bit of a wriggle around, and make sure when you push it on here that you push, give it a really good push. Otherwise, you might miss some of the little dots. That's what it looks like. So give it a good push down. Make sure that you've got everything touching, and then straight up again. And now that's going to be a bit contaminated with the blue. I always miss one. I did that in the practice one too. Always missed it. If that happens, just grab a little bam bamboo skewer and 
oops, dot into it like that. Okay, and that will, it should grow. But isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, now, <clears throat> swipe, wipe that off. Doesn't matter if you don't get it totally clean, you just want the edges, you know, the little points to be clean. So let's do another colour, let's do the light blue. And I don't see why we can't overlap, what do you think? Straight up. Oh, look at that. It's probably a good idea actually, if you're going to use the light blue, do the light blue where you want it, and then clean it off and, and go for a different colour. I haven't done that before where I've overlapped. It's quite pretty, isn't it? All right, let's do another of the blue because I've already got the blue here. Um, let's just go into the corner there. Try and go straight. Oh, goodness, I've missed a lot there. That wasn't very good, Julie. Where's my little skewer? Now I'm going to have to try and put them in by hand. It's going to be a little bit more tricky. I have to try and support my hand. Now don't worry too much if you miss like I do, I think. Once it's all sort of grows together, I think it'll be all right. And I can always overlap on that one. See, it's, it's filling in already, so don't be too concerned if that happens. But yeah, I probably didn't push down hard enough. <clears throat> or maybe my blue background in this corner isn't quite as thick as over there. I think that's probably why, again, you need a really thick base coat so that you don't um, get that from happening. Okay, let's change colors. I'm gonna go back and do some white, and then I wanna try this beautiful little um, turquoise <laughs> colour. <laughs> I didn't wipe it off quite well enough by the looks of it. I've still got some blue in that one so you can see the contamination there. But hey, we're learning, hey? We're learning together. Happy for you to come along for the ride. And I'm learning here. Right, let's change colours. I guess it's not so important when you're doing the blue and the turquoise, but when you're changing to the white, um, it may be a little bit more important that you change or wash your little brush, okay? Push down. Okay, I'm still missing. I think I'm gonna actually take the card off the tray because the tray is bending as I'm pushing down. So let's do that. Just gonna leave that there, put you out of the way there. Um, I'm just gonna climb up the ladder and make sure that you're still in frame. So I think it does need to have Yep, you're in frame. I think it's, it is important that you have it on a hard surface. If you're using a canvas, you may actually have to support the underside of the canvas. So that one's filled in pretty good, hey? I guess if you wanted them thicker, instead of using the point, you could use the, the back of the bamboo skewer if you wanted it to be a little bit thicker or maybe dip twice get a little bit more paint on it okay did I wipe that okay I'm gonna do some more white dip that in really well now see this is better because I'm on a hard surface straight up now what I did with there was I moved, instead of coming straight up, I moved. It's, it's tricky, you guys, this is hard. <laughs> I think I'm paying, I'm just I'm probably overthinking it because the first one I just dropped it, picked it up. Now let's use the back of this this time. It's probably better actually using the back 
of the bamboo skewer, get a better result. Rightio, I'm going to go with the white again and then I'll change colours because then I don't have to wash it as much. Try not to wiggle it. There we go. That was better. Didn't wiggle it. So it's still missing. Doesn't matter. There we go. Just pop them back in. Little blobs. Your blob isn't quite big enough. You can go over it again. So you can't you can hardly tell there that I've made a boo-boo. Hey. Alright. <laughs> Now I'm going to change colour, let's go with the turquoise, I haven't got much in the turquoise yet, I may just overlap that one a little bit, if I leave it in there then I know which colour I've got on the bottom, hey. I'm thinking that my base coat might not be thick enough. Or maybe it's starting to dry already. Could be the problem. All right, let's get this done, eh? Oh, missed a few there too. Next time I'm going to try and push harder, see if that makes a difference. I'll do one more because I've got my little brush in here already into that colour. Push all the way, actually maybe if I push all the way down like that, how's that? Straight up. Woohoo! Did it! Okay, so it likes to be pushed all the way along. Now we'll wipe that off. I guess my blue and my turquoise are quite similar in colour. Let's do a few more whites. I think the white really pops against the other colours. to say to get there. All good. This little brush is only about two dollars. Pretty cheap really. Now I've missed again on the sides and I think that's because um, my base coat's not as thick there on the sides as it is in the middle. So if I do this again, a thicker base coat does seem to be important. Now I'll wash the white off and let's do a little bit of the blue. Let me check that my video is still going. Hope you guys aren't getting too bored with this. I don't know if I should use this but I don't know where I'd put it. Through the centre. I probably need a different colour like maybe a, a brown to like I won't do it today. I'll have to have another play with it. Yes, yeah, so that works well. <clears throat> if I push it down and then just leave it and then push it, pull it back up again real fast, straight up. that it's got the little handle hey I can do that and as I said if you miss just pop it back and I'm using the bottom of that skewer I find that that's it works better hey um, ok 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna do two more. I'm gonna do another white one down here and then I'll do a, actually no. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a white one. That's too much white, isn't it? Do a blue one there and then a white one down here. Still got lots of paint left in my little cup, my little bowls. These are just um, you know, plastic, cheap plastic bowls. in really bright colours if you did this. I think my paints are starting to thicken up. Yeah, really bright colours. Uh, one more wipe down here and then that will be it. We will call that done. I was looking everywhere in my house for something that was like this but was a bit smaller that I could make big ones and little ones. So I'm gonna to have, to, <laughs> have to look out for something else that I can use like this but smaller and maybe like this but bigger as well. Just to get some different looks. Yeah, it looks as if, um, especially on the edge there, my paint's really thinning out or drying or one or the other. That's okay. And then next time, make my base thicker. Because, as I said earlier, when the, the paint comes up it can't spread because it, it's not thick enough like the base cut's not thick enough allowing it to spread so it's just staying in its little point all right i'm gonna leave it like that no point fiddling too much what do you think voila <laughs> i really like it initially i was only going to do white and then i you know as i said my white got contaminated and started turning blue and that's why i changed it to some blue Still got lots of base coat left. Still got lots of milk paint left. But as I said, if you, can't, if you guys can't get the milk paint, maybe try this with the satin enamel um, and just see what happens. Maybe it'll maybe it'll work the same way. I'm not sure. Okay, do I need to go down and show you <laughs> from down down there? All right, let's go down. Let's go and have a little look. A little look-see. Around here from my perspective. Love the middle bit. Isn't it gorgeous? A little flower in the centre. They're just so, so exact, so precise. And over there where the two colours have mixed, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The blue on the white. So yeah, I wouldn't mind doing another one and um, doing some bright colours. Yeah, we've got the mix of colours again there and there. Love it! It's so much fun! <laughs> I do need to do the um, Grip Challenge colours, which are Christmas colours, so that'll be coming up shortly. So if you're already not a, if you're not a member of um, my pouring your heart out Facebook group you are most welcome to join just don't join as your business please just as yourself I don't accept business groups art groups <laughs> just yourself and um, yeah you can take part in the Christmas challenge um, it is greens and reds gold and white 
So yeah, come along and join us. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun. <laughs> Have a go and um, put your paintings up on my Facebook group so I can see them. Love to see your work. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now.